Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am back with another video. In this video, we're going to do some green freestyle nails. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The acrylics that I will be using are World to Nail Supplies S37, Zule's Green Dianthus, and Crushed Diamond. Well, I was going to use Crushed Diamond. I did end up using them, but then I didn't at the same time. If that make, Well, you guys will see. And then I have this green glitter right here because I thought it matched. And I didn't have an idea at all what I was going to do. I just know I wanted to do a green freestyle. And that glitter like kind of matched with the green that was going on there. Um, as well as in that crown glass dish right there, that is me and Secret Cover Pink Powder, my favorite nude. I use that on like every set. And then right now I'm just cutting down these tips and the tips that I have on are Acrylic Creamery's 3XL No Curve Coffin Tips. That was a lot, but um, yeah, love these tips. And you guys can find the link to Acrylic Creamery, Zule, and all of that in the description below. So one of you guys asked me in the previous or one of my previous videos, uh, I think it was Tori if I'm not mistaken, she had asked me to include my monomer dish and the acrylic into the frame. I don't normally, I try to like, you know, get the nails close up as possible, but as you can see, I'm hitting like those angles, getting the monomer, you know, my monomer and the acrylic in there at the same time. You guys can see me, you know, like tapping the brush into the um, acrylic powder. I have like, you know, a little bit of that included because Tori, I think it was Tori, she asked for, for it, so yeah. So right now I'm just going in on my middle finger with that green color, which was again S37 from Royal Tuna Supplies. It's one of their old colors and the acrylic formula isn't my favorite to be honest, um, but I have a bunch of it from like the past. It's very old acrylic and I'm gonna use it. <laughs> so, um, and this color is pretty though too. And as you can see, it does marble a little, but yeah. Also, I skipped to my middle finger because I'm going to be doing some glitter. And I don't want to get that contaminated at all in any of the nails that I'm going to be doing solid. All right, so you guys know that I'm still answering Q&A questions and I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one because it's one that I kind of answered already and I could just answer it pretty quickly. This one is, when did you decide you were passionate about nails and dedicate more of your time doing them? Are you licensed? If not, are you considering getting your license? I'm debating on this very thing. Okay, when I was younger, I used to be a girly girl, and when I was a kid, you know, before Click and all that was out, I was making my own self press on. So I always loved it, like, you know, and I love the art of it as well, like painting my nails, doing little designs, and all of those kind of things. And then when I got into acrylic, I just loved it. I also knew that I was even more passionate about it when I, you know, found out that I could like help people through my art and my videos, like and got got feedback and still get feedback from a ton of people saying how much I've helped them. That's the main thing that I really, really, that's one of like the main things that really, really keep me like posting for you guys and all of that. Um, and then am I licensed? No, I just do my nails for fun. And you know, it's like my, it's like my happy place. And for you guys as well, have I thought about it? Yeah. Like if I was to take clients, but I think like every day, am I going to take clients or not? Do I want the stress of it or not? So yeah. Um, Lizzie, the one answering this or asking this question, you're asking, or you're saying you're debating on this. I feel like if you want to go get your license, go for it. If you want to take clients and all of that, but you don't, you know, require a license if you're just like doing it for fun or you want to make videos or whatever but if it makes you feel like you know better and you want to take clients then i highly recommend that you go for it 
Okay, and then another, like, little question or whatever was, um, well, not whatever, but, like, a, a statement and questions following, because it's, like, a bunch of questions in one. One, um, was, will you and Delay please come together and come up with a good glitter gel polish series, because there are a lot of gaps in that department, or maybe some acrylic, even though I know there's already a million colors. Um... So they be doing her own thing. She got some glitter gels coming out right now, like some cat eyes and some cute like um, reflectives and all of that. And she has like a billion acrylic powders that are bomb. Um, I'm not there yet with, um, you know, like starting my own business and stuff. Um, yeah, but Zule has a bunch of bomb glitter gel polishes as well as a bunch of bomb acrylic powders. Um, the next part of her question was, what are some of your other passions, including outside of nails? Because you seem to be a very good artist. I'm just curious. Um, I don't really, like currently, I don't really have no other passions. But when I was a bit younger, I used to love basketball. I still do. I just don't like, um, it's been many, many years since I've played. So, but I still love the sport. And then, um... I used to love drawing when I was younger, but that's, I wasn't like really, really so into it, but I did draw a lot when I was younger. But ever since I started doing nails, like that consumes me and I don't really have any other like passions like that. Um, and thank you for saying that I seem to be a good artist. Thank you. Also, what is your favorite food to eat? I personally love all food. Girl, me too. <laughs> um no no kidding not kidding i love food but i'm a vegetarian so i don't eat a whole lot of different things i've been a vegetarian for like four like four years something like that and i love okay so hint, i said vegetarian not vegan so i love my cheese y'all like i love macaroni i love like pizza i love pizza like i can eat pizza every day all day i know that sounds like childish but i love pizza I love pasta, like Italian food. I love all of that. Um, and then what was her last part of her question? Have you tried any of the freeze dried candy that's going on in a trend at the moment? Um, no, I don't know what that is. Freeze dried candy? Yeah, I'm a little oblivious to that. If somebody can explain that to me or or if you could or something. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I haven't tried. I'm not a candy person. I love um I love like cookies and cake and stuff like that, but I do love some chocolate, but I'm not at all a candy person. Oh, and she did have one more part to her question. She had like five in one. Her last part is, are you a perfume connoisseur, connoisseur or connoisseur? <laughs> are you a perfume connoisseur? Never heard that word before. Not really, but I think that's how you say it, connoisseur. Or do you just prefer like Bath and Body Works? What's your favorite? Mine is Alien by Fieri Muggler. I hope I'm saying all that right. So, no, I'm not a perfume con connoisseur. Um, I do like perfume. I think my favorite perfume of all times is um, this Versace um, Bright Crystal, the pink one, the women kind. I love that one. Um, and then what was the other? Or do you? I love Bath and Body Works. I, ha I own a ton of Bath and Body Works. My favorite Bath and Body Works uh, would have to be A Thousand Wishes or... Um, let me see. I'm looking at my Bath and Body. Oh, I love Champagne Toast. So my top, top favorite scents from Bath and Body Works are Champagne Toast and A Thousand Wishes. I love those. Perfume, lotion, uh, what is that? Shower gel, all of that. I love those. Um, so yeah. Thanks, girl, for your questions and participating in the Q&A. Oh, and by the way, because I know someone will say it in the comments, um... I pretty much said it right. It's kind of sir. Kind of sir is the word. That's how you pronounce it. Anyways, guys, so I completed the pinky and the middle nail with, or the middle fingernail with that green. And now I'm going in on the ring fingernail and I'm using green dianthus from Zule or Zule's Nails, Zule's Nails that Big Cartel. Um, link in the description. And I'm going in on the ring fingernail and I'm like blending it like out into an ombre because I want to leave the bottom like glass, like see-through clear. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going in on the, the nail with that and I'm going to cap it later.
by the way i forgot to mention that i am using as always no houses size 16 kalinsky brush as well as the monomer and you guys can find the link to no houses website in the description below as well and you can also use my code portia at checkout for a discount Okay, y'all, so at this point, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with a thumb. So I just went ahead and started capping the nails um, with clear. And I think I ended up, yeah, I ended up doing the thumb ombre green, like ombre with the nude and the green. But in the meantime, I'm going in on the nails and capping them. And I am using Me Secrets Clear Acrylic Powder. Also, while I was talking, I totally didn't see that I already done the um, French, the acrylic French the top half of it on the index fingernail and of course i use me secrets um cover pink to do, to do that and i'm gonna go back and file that and then um fill in the bottom half of it It's important that while you're laying your acrylic, you constantly look at the side view of your nails, like, you know, even all angles of the nail so that you can see where you're missing acrylic and where you need it. Like if there's any dips or, you know, just where you need to build up thickness a little bit more, you guys can see that I do it every single second. I'm always looking at the side view of the nails to make sure that, you know, everything is good with the apex and the structure and the thickness and all of that. So it's very important that you always look at the side of your nails. Also, um, sometimes, just sometimes, especially when I'm lazy, but not really lazy, but you know what I mean. Like, because I do pop my nails off right after I do them, I don't worry too, too much about the apex thickness. But yeah, for the most part, I, you know, build it up pretty nicely. But sometimes I just don't really worry about it too much because I do pop my nails off right after. But like I said, it is very important that you always look at the side view of your nail. That is how you would determine if you need more you know acrylic in what area if you have a dip you want to go ahead and place that acrylic down and swipe it upward so that it's like blended flat like you know even um yeah and if you guys want a full in-depth application video you can check that out on my channel um i will leave it and linked in the description below um it's very helpful and you guys can um you know learn all of the my application tips in that video it goes very in depth about application apex um, liquid to powder ratio and all of those things so i do highly recommend you guys check it out All right, so another Q&A question that someone had was, what are your favorite sets to create? Um, I'd say my favorite sets to create are freestyles. You guys know, like, for the most part, I just freestyle. I don't do any, like, um, I don't know, like, I don't even know what, how to explain it, like, organized nails. I don't know. I just kind of freestyle, go with whatever I think is cute and, you know, like, color coordinate and all of that those are my favorite nails to do freestyles um bling nails love bling love bright colors um i love a classy look too but my favorite sets to do are pretty much like bling freestyles cute little like with 3d flowers and french love a french y'all i know i'm gonna always do some kind of french i feel like i probably have a french in like every single set i do like now i want to look back at every set because i feel like i probably do like a french in every single set 
<laughs> but yeah and then i also like to create like unique sets like i like to do things that i don't i've never really seen that's why i freestyle for the most part like i like to do different stuff i hate seeing like the same type of nails all of the time that's why i try to do like different um yeah so yeah i hope that answered your question all right y'all so right now i'm just going in and i'm filing that the top half of the french on that index fingernail so that i can do the bottom of the french All right, y'all. So this is how that French is looking right now. And I, okay, so this is the part where I told you guys I kind of used crushed diamond, but then again, I kind of didn't. Because for some reason, like, I wanted to do like a ombre type of vibe on this nail with crushed diamond, this silver glitter here, and then green dianthus glitter, the green one. And I don't know. So like when I started doing it, it didn't I didn't like how it was coming out. So then I just ended up covering the whole thing with green dianthus. I don't know why I thought that would I don't know, it was kind of something I had in my head and I'm like, let me try it out. So yeah. But yeah, like I said, I ended up covering it just all with um green dianthus. And since I already started to use the crushed diamond and then I covered it up with the green dianthus, it came out like a little bumpy, little, little shaky looking. So um but it's cool though because y'all know like i can shape my butt off so i shaped it real good and it came out like nothing ever happened um and i'll just use crushed diamond a different time on a different set because it's so pretty i really wanted to use it but it didn't come out how i wanted it to yeah so i'll let you guys still see that part Also, like I said, y'all, y'all know I normally like to get like close ups and all of that. Like my videos be close up for the most part, but um, I think it was Tori. She wanted me to show like my acrylic and my monomer dish. So I did it for this video, but for the most part, I'm going to be like doing like close up. I like to see close up and I'm sure y'all do too, but I wanted to do that for you, Tori girl. So I hope you can appreciate it. So yeah, y'all, this is how it's coming out looking. Like I said, it came out a little shaky looking um, because I had to cover it up and look a little bumpy and stuff. But, um, and then I made it even more lumpy and bumpy with the acrylic. But like I said, I shaped it up real good. So it's like nothing ever happened. All right, and then I'm going in again with that same green S37 on the thumb and I'm gonna be ombre in it, like I said. And y'all know I like to normally like blend my acrylic upward when I'm doing an ombre so that the next color can like, you know, so the two colors can blend seamlessly, but I didn't do it with this thumb, not really. So when I tried to like um, do the ombre, it didn't blend quickly as I wanted to like normal, as well as you can see a little bit of that harsh line, but I did fix it up. But like I said, I normally blend my acrylics upward so that you don't see the harsh line and it's like very well blended, but yeah, it's cool. And like I said, I still um, blended it. It just took me a little bit longer. And again, the nude color is Mia Secrets Cover Pink. You guys can find it on Amazon. You can actually find it in my Amazon storefront and my Amazon storefront is always linked in the description below my videos. Okay, y'all, uh, this is how it's looking so far. You know, it's how it's looking so far. I gotta fix up that index fingernail because it's bugging me. But 
I'm going in with the clear by me a secret and I'm just um encapsulating that French, you know, that glitter and stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead with the next QA question. When do you know when do you know to clean and how do you clean a nail drill bit and how often do you replace yours? So because I only do my nails, I don't clean mine very often. I clean them every once in a while and I use a barbicide um, mixed with like water. Like if you buy a barbicide, you know, the directions come on the jar and you can get barbicide from Amazon. It's also on my Amazon storefront, which is also linked in the description below. But yeah, I clean my implements with barbicide. Uh, and if you're taking clients, then your implements should be used after each use or not say used after each use. <laughs> it should be cleaned after each use. And so far, I haven't really replaced any of my, like, drill bits and stuff. I think I, well, I don't think. I know I need to replace one of my drill bits, the extra, extra coarse fine one. I mean, extra coarse fine one. Extra coarse one. Um, the one I used to, um, soak off my nails when I used to, like, do my nails, actually. Um, it's not so, um, coarse anymore. And I've had it for, I can't remember how long I've had it, but... To make a long story short, you need to replace them once you feel like they don't work enough anymore, like if they're coarse enough or any of that. Um, but if it's not broke, then don't fix it. And like I said, you should be cleaning your implements after every use when you're taking clients. With barbicide, that is. And that's what I did. Like, I took literally, like, back in the day, I literally took, like, three paying customers ever. And I, like, never took anyone else ever again. But that's what I did when I took those clients. I cleaned them, like, after each one. Um, for the people who take clients regularly, like comment in the comment section below. Is that right, correct? Like, don't you clean them after every client? Because I did. I think you're supposed to with Barbicide. As well as I had like multiple bits and all of those kind of things. So that if I, you know, like if I didn't do it right away, I had a, a like a totally like brand new one to use on a new client. But if I was using that same one on multiple, I would use, I would clean them after each use. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, the application is complete. And now I am going in and I'm filing the nails, filing and shaping. I like to start with the surface of the nails and then underneath, underneath is important, y'all. I can't forget underneath. Then the sides, the tips, and then lastly, sealing the cuticles. If you guys want a full in-depth shaping tutorial, I highly recommend you guys check out that video on my channel. It's very helpful and I go very in detail, um, step by step on how to shape different shapes the little coffin square tapered square all of that and how to get your shape crisp because y'all know i come you know y'all know i do the crispy nails <laughs> like you know crispy shape rather i get that crisp shape i love it but check that video out all right so that's how the pinky is looking y'all and i'm just gonna do the same thing on the remaining nails um, well, except for the index finger because I had to go really in on that one because that shape is crazy with um, With having you know having that little mishap and having to add the extra acrylic and all of that But yeah, also as you can see I am using Zule's files her nail files and the gray I believe that's um 100 by 180 or something like that 180 by 100 or no 80 by 100 Y'all I'm bad with like files I think it's 80 by 100. Um, I normally use 8080 grit file, but since I switched to Zule, I don't think she has 8080. I think she has 80 by 100. And um, yeah, those are my new favorite. My, those are my new favorite files. So um, I won't be like really switching to anything else. I do have a bunch of old files that I still will use, but I really love her files. Those files are bomb. So yeah, that's what I'm using. And this drill bit right here that I'm using is an extra fine drill bit from amazon of course again and you can again find it in my amazon storefront and that is again a link in the description below i use that to define the shape underneath the nails as well as still the cuticle oh and of course as you guys saw or see always i do um straighten the tips of the nails with that drill bit as well
Okay, another question from the Q&A. Um, could you tell me if it is possible to put acrylic over full cover nail tips? I have asked so many people, but no one will answer me. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not sure if you mean... Well, yes, yes, you can put full... You can put acrylic over full cover nail tips. I do it all of the time. Making my acrylic press-ons. Um, I don't know if you meant like that or if you meant like gluing the tips onto your nails and put an acrylic over that you can do that as well um i mean i don't see why not i did that in a video of video previous to a few videos previous to these like that tiktok nail hack you guys saw me pour, pour the acrylic over gel polish you can use that method or if you mean like glue the tips on and just like literally put acrylic over top i really don't see why not like i really don't see why not um yeah and I think someone answered her already in that before I could. Um, Shamika, she had answered her um, for me. Thank you for that as well. Oh, and someone named Sierra. She had answered that question before I could get to it. But yeah, you definitely can. And that sucks as well that no one answered you. Um, but yeah, I hope I can answer that question. Um, speaking of that, y'all. And that really sucks when people like don't answer people. I try my best to answer people unless they just ask me something crazy. Um, but I really like, I literally make time and literally like intentionally go onto you, the YouTube app, the YouTube studio app and like go through all of the comments to try and answer every single one of y'all back. I would never get like, you know, I feel, I hate when people feel like too good to answer someone back or too famous or untouchable or whatever. I always said that from the beginning when I had no followers, you know, and I try to stay true to that. I will never get too good to say nothing, you know, not say anything to y'all or respond to y'all or anything like that. Like I said, unless somebody should say something crazy or something that I've like obviously answered in the video a billion times because I, I don't do those either. I hate when people ask me, you know, questions that I've already like they literally say something like um, what acrylic are you using? As if I don't literally state in the, you know, video what I'm using. And y'all, really I'm really not trying to be like a a-hole a or anything like that. But those are the kind of people, like, people ask those kind of questions. I can always, I'm sorry, y'all. I can always tell um, if someone just came and didn't even watch the video and just, like, commenting crazy stuff or commenting, like, coming from Instagram or something like that, asking me questions, but you didn't even watch the video, and that's very rude. So I don't answer questions like those, but y'all, I will never, ever get too good to answer y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all are my little family, and um, even those who I don't really know, like, I try to answer, you know, are not familiar with y'all faces or whatever, like, does not matter. I will always answer y'all. Like, I will always answer and chat with y'all, even in my premieres. Like, y'all be like, Portia, um, responding from, like, 20 minutes ago, a few minutes ago, like, it's because I literally try to get to every single one of y'all to make y'all feel seen and answer y'all question and help y'all. That is what I'm here for. I will never get too good for that. So, that really sucks that people you're asking is not answering your question but i hope that i answered that question for you guys and yeah yeah that's all my little that's all i have to say It's just always gonna be the thumb for me but anyway y'all this is how the nails are looking with them all shaped and filed i really did that next fingernail up because it was looking crazy in the beginning but it's cool now but yeah y'all now i'm going to um or i already did off camera buff the nails and clean them now we're going to move on to 
my favorite part which is the bling so i initially brought out these stones right here that i got from amazon just a bunch of different color stones and look y'all open it upside down again like as and i tried to flip it back over but at this point i didn't even care because it was already mixed over or mixed up from the last time i opened them upside down but anyways i wanted to use this green these green stones right here i think they matched perfectly with the green but i ended up not using them um yeah i don't know i just did not use them but um i ended up using a bunch of ab stones but anyways we're gonna get into this or these designs of course gonna be using my zule bling adhesive and i'm gonna go ahead and start with the index fingernail with this french and i'm gonna do a bling smile line this is my favorite go-to look like for bling on a fringe nail i love doing a bling smile line and I know you guys saw there in the beginning, I did have the Zule Bling Adhesive um, Brush Bottle at first, but then I switched to the Squeeze Bottle. I switch up um, between the brush and the Squeeze Bottle. Um, which one I like more? I kind of like the Squeeze Bottle a little bit more. Um, I did initially start with using the Brush Bottle. I love them both, but some I guess it just depends on sometimes how I'm feeling about using the squeeze bottle or the brush bottle but it's both the same thing in both tubes um highly recommend it if you have never tried as well as blink adhesive i don't know what you're doing but i highly recommend you guys get your hands on it you will not have another fallen stone pop stones popping off none of that kind of none of those kind of issues like yeah i highly recommend it and zule's um website is linked in the description below my videos as well as you can get this beautiful green glitter um along with her other glitters and just all of her products y'all they're all bomb nothing but quality each time okay So I am going to go ahead and answer the last few Q&A questions because there's only a couple more. Um, this one here is wanting to know how you film your videos, what type of editing do you use, and equipment. Um, well, I've kind of already answered this question before, but for those of you who are new and don't know and to answer your question, I used to use my iPhone 6S Plus, my old iPhone 6S Plus to film. It was just a phone I had laying around that I never like broke or anything like that. I've had plenty of new phones since, but I just used that to just go ahead and start up my YouTube channel. And I've been using it ever since because I didn't have any issues with it. Um, but however, now, I don't know if you guys can tell in the quality change. Now I use my iPhone 13 Pro or 13, yeah, 13 Pro Max. Um, I really love this one. I'm not an iPhone head. I'm all, I'm still team Android, but I wanted to invest in a higher quality um, camera, but I wanted a two-in-one, like a phone I can use as well as film one, you know. So yeah, I went with this one. I bought it like a month ago and I love it. I do recommend it. Like um, like I said, my, my old iPhone 6S Plus, it didn't do me no wrong. I used to take my pictures on it and, and film my YouTube videos. But I just wanted a little upgrade, you know, to just get a little bit of better quality camera like experience. Um, so yeah, I do recommend as well. Like you don't have to go do any buy anything fancy. You don't even have to go buy a, one of the latest iPhones. Like I'm not even into all of that. Like I said, I just want a camera upgrade and a phone to use as well and th this is just what i this is just what i went with um but yeah i recommend that if you have a phone just use your phone that is what i use to edit my phone that's it and then i use imovie to edit my videos on and yeah equipment that's it I, and i use like a phone mount regular phone mount you guys can find the exact phone mount that i use and my Amazon storefront, which is linked in the description below. It's nothing fancy. It's like a $15 regular smuggler um, phone mount. That's nothing fancy at all that I just use to pop my phone on there and press record. So, yeah. So, as you guys can see, I finished up that index fingernail with the smile line. Just added a little bit of bling down the nail. Just a little bit. Not so far. And now I am working on the middle fingernail. And all of these stones are glass, except for the big um swarovski one that i just used that um flame shape 
that one is Swarovski. You guys saw me pull out my Swarovski box. I don't use my Swarovskis much because I, I do just pop these nails right off. Um, so I don't, I rarely ever use my Swarovski. But um, yeah. And with the other ones, you really can't tell the difference, especially the round ones. You can't tell much that there aren't Swarovski. Um, you can't really tell. Well, at least for me, you can't really tell. They shine beautifully just like it. And I do get them from AliExpress um yeah i get that question a lot too where i get my stones from i get them from everywhere y'all i get them from um amazon aliexpress zule oceanel supply um i got them from michael's in the past when they used to sell swarovski um did i say amazon yeah i get my um my rhinestones from like a lot, a lot of places but anyways y'all just did some like um some bling action around that flame shape i really love that like i did a design with that bling placement similar to that with a yellow set that i did i don't know if you guys remember but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take some me secret activator spray and spray it on the nail to dry up the glue and then i'm gonna move on and do the bling on the ring fingernail So this is the last Q&A question that I could find. Um, I think that's all of them. I don't think I just, yeah, I think that's all of them. So the last Q&A question is, if you start your own business, will you stick to doing long XXL nails only or do you, or do all shapes and sizes? Um, well, if I start taking clients, well, I do press ones, so... For real, for real, that's like my clients to me. Like, even though I don't do them on like in person, so I do offer like all type of nails. Like, I don't like no, nothing is excluded. Oh wait, I lie. I don't do round, duck, or almond. Hate those shapes. Will not do them. I am not the person for you if you want those shapes. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I do all type of nails: coffin, stiletto, short, square um medium long extra long for excel like i do all type of lengths and shapes and all type of different nails i can do classy basic i can do uh blinged out luxury nails i do it all i do it all so yeah hope to answer your questions and thank you all who answered or who asked q a questions I like to do that for the new subscribers uh, and I know a ton of you guys be having questions and I like to answer them, you know, a little in depth in the video so you guys can understand what I'm saying as although I always answer you guys in the co comments, but I know that there are a lot of new subscribers and some of you guys may have the same questions and it helps for you guys to hear me like, you know, answer them in the video. So yeah, like I said, again, thank you everyone who asks q a questions i really appreciate it and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and finish up blinging these nails out and then apply the top coat and then enter the final results So normally y'all, I normally just put a couple of bling on the thumbnail because no one really sees it. And um, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna keep it at just these two right here. But then I'm like, nah, the thumb needs a love too because we always forget about the thumb. So I just added a couple more blings or maybe a lot more bling. Um, yeah, so you guys are gonna see me do that here in a moment and yeah. So 
so I have a question real quick because I'm curious and I want to see and I want y'all to be honest how many of you guys are caught up on like all of my recent videos or or all of them period if you're caught up on all the recent ones or all of them period let me know because I kind of posted that in my community tab like asking you guys how many of you guys are caught up because recently I've been posting every other day and I want you guys to be caught up and I don't want to just be like throwing videos at y'all i haven't even got a chance to see the old ones and watch them because i do want y'all to see and engage i know some of y'all got like stuff going on working busy all of those kind of things so let me know if you guys are caught up on all of my videos i did post that and y'all was like um i'm caught up i'm caught up post it anyway because i was asking you guys if you wanted me to post this video tomorrow which will be like the I don't know what tomorrow is y'all I'm keeping up the days these days I think it's like the fifth or something like that I don't know but you guys wanted this video anyway so yeah I'm gonna be po well it's already posted now duh but I'm just saying how many you guys are actually caught up on my videos and don't mind me posting every other day All right, y'all, this is how the nails are looking so far. I'm gonna go ahead and add the top coat. I'm loving them. I've been wanting to do like some lime green nails for a long time now. I'm trying to do like colors that I don't normally do and I don't think you guys have seen me do, well, actually I did ha do a lime green set like a long time ago. That's posted on like one of my first couple of ever YouTube videos ever. But um, yeah, I just wanted to do a cute lime green set. So yeah, right now I'm just going ahead and I'm applying the top coats and then we're gonna enter the final results. real quick to y'all i just want to say like um thank you and welcome to all of the new subscribers as well as thank you to my old subscribers you know like my current or whatever subscribers y'all have a like girl i'll say you say this like every three videos but like i said and like i always say i'm never ever gonna stop telling you guys how much i appreciate you i appreciate all the love and all the support are we not going to talk about how we just had 10k and we're already at almost 17 and then we're going to be hitting 20 soon that means another giveaway a bomb one um gotta do it up for the 20k i really appreciate each and every one who is coming who's joining who's new and my like you know existing and old family youtube family like i really appreciate each and every single one of y'all because y'all do not have to be here but yeah y'all we're growing and um like i was telling you guys in, like the last video or last couple of videos that comes with being consistent y'all like and i will make a whole different video on that too like social media youtube all that kind of stuff you have to be consistent you have to be present you have to engage you have to do all of those things to attract more people and of course you got to come with it you got to come with you know what i'm saying your best you can't one thing about me is i'm not gonna have do anything you have to come with your best whatever that looks like it doesn't matter because like i said 
all we can do is our best you know so yeah but yeah i'm coming with it and i'm dropping these videos for y'all i'm not playing like i said i have so many sets already recorded for y'all i have already like the hello kitty sets like i told y'all the halloween sets the fall sets the all the sets i got coming for y'all um it's just a matter of me getting them edited and uploaded for y'all but yeah y'all this is how the nails are looking y'all i absolutely love them i love the green i just love it i'm gonna go ahead and apply some cuticle oil and this is some old cuticle oil that i had made like last year for like around christmas time that i was um selling that nobody bought <laughs> but um they did love the um the cupcake the unicorn cupcake one but this is how it looks it's really pretty and it's like peppermint scent it's very pretty it's almost going as you can see i love it but anyway y'all this is how the nails are looking so fire and i posted these on instagram well by the time you guys see this this it would be yesterday but um yeah y'all i'm going to enter the final results now so pretty y'all what do y'all think if you guys enjoyed this video and love these nails as much as i do please be sure to give this video a thumbs up leave your thoughts in the comment section below if you guys are on the premiere right now don't forget to comment on the regular video as well subscribe to my channel if you have not already i'm not sure what you're doing but subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so that you are notified each and every single time i drop a new video Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.